So last time we introduced this problem of having Bernoulli data coin flips and trying to measure what the underlying bias parameter mu is. And we wrote this equation, this Bayes equation, where the posterior is a product of the likelihood in the prior. And so this time we're going to dive a little more into what exactly these terms are and try to derive an exact formula for the posterior. So last time we talked about how we think that mu is distributed as a beta distribution. And let's write out the PDF. So for the beta distribution, the PDF looks something like this. Mu to the alpha minus 1 over 1 minus mu to the beta minus 1, all over what they call this beta function. So we have a... <laughs> beta parameter, we have a beta distribution, and now we have a beta function. And just diving a little more into what this beta function is, it's defined as the integral over a variable t of t to the alpha minus 1, 1 minus t to the beta minus 1. And that's just the definition of the beta function. And so now that we have our PDF for beta, that's our prior. Let's dive a little deeper into this idea of the marginal likelihood. So the probability of seeing the data overall, and this is a little complicated. You have to integrate over your mu parameter, and it's the probability of x given that parameter times the probability of that parameter to begin with. Um, and since the parameter mu only goes from 0 to 1, that's what it will be. Um, and, but we can, we can write this out a little bit further because we already know this. This is our likelihood from before. And so that's just um, mu to the... Well, let's, let's actually write the likelihood real quick, and then we'll come back to it. So the likelihood probability of x given mu is equal to, and we wrote this in the last video, so just to remind you, mu to the xi, 1 minus mu to the 1 minus xi. And then i goes from 1 to all your data points, n. But I want to write this as, and maybe you can take a minute to convince yourself, that this is mu to the number of ones that you observe in your data, 1 minus mu to the number of zeros that you observe in your data. And this is the form of the likelihood that I want to use going forward. So coming back down over here on the right, uh, we can actually just rewrite this likelihood as mu to the n1, 1 minus mu to the n0. But then we need to write our prior here in the integral. And so that's going to be this guy, mu because remember, we're using a beta distribution for the prior. And here's that beta function again. Cool. So now we have, we've written formulas for each term. We've written the beta prior. We've written the marginal likelihood and we've written the likelihood. And in the next video, we are going to smash all of these together, and we're going to find out what is the form of our posterior distribution. And um, just to kind of give you the answer ahead of time, we're going to find out that the posterior distribution is also beta distributed. And so stay tuned, and we'll find out exactly what the parameters of this new beta distribution are.